Flake here with the latest. The man wanted in connection to the death of Queensland woman Toya Cordingley survived on Australian soil. 38-year-old Raswinder Singh was extradited from India overnight. The body of 24-year-old Toya was found on a beach north of Cairns in 2018. The opposition leader is questioning why the federal government's OK with targeting super accounts to claw back more taxes. Some 80,000 Australians will pay double the taxes from 2025-26 if they have more than $3 million in their accounts. Peter Dutton's worried this is the start of big changes to the system, despite the PM assuring us that's not the case. People who work hard for their super uh, enjoy a retirement as a result of their hard work. And if we walk away from that principle, which clearly the Labor Party has, then I think it provides great uncertainty around superannuation as an asset class. Meantime, there's been a rise in economic activity across the December quarter of 0.5 of 8%. However, that's below expectations. The death toll from a series of earthquakes in Turkey and Syria last month surpassed 50,000, according to the UN. Meantime, rescues continue. A horse has been found alive after spending 21 days under rubble. A New South Wales flood survivors won a million dollars in lotto, 12 months on from the Lismore tragedy. The Northern Rivers man took home a quarter of the Division One cash draw last night. And there's talk about giving the moon its own time zone. The European Space Agency wants to make it happen so it's easier to coordinate missions. Apparently the time zone at the moment is based on whichever country owns the spacecraft doing the work. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Australia's finally seen the back of India captain Rohit Sharma on the opening day of the third test. Spinner Matt Kuhneman, the man to get the job done after the Aussies decided against two previous reviews which would have both dismissed Sharma. He's gone. Beaten in the flight. Kuhneman gets his man. On Fox Sports there, Shubman Gill has also been sent packing from a Kuhneman delivery. It was two for 35 a short time ago. And in AFL, Lockie Neal and Harris Andrews have been named co-captains at the Lions. The club's also re-signed coach Chris Fagan until the end of 2025. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. 21 and cloudy for the rest of the day across the Limestone Coast. Tomorrow, 21, and we're hitting 22 on Friday. One more local news. Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for the Limestone Coast, and add to your favourites now.